It's four o'clock in the morning in Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Every week, coaches leave from here, heading for France and other EU countries. The passengers are often hoping they'll make a better life somewhere else. I've got 27 years of experience in the building trades, but now I can only work day to day to scrape out a living, being paid under the table. I'm not ashamed to say it in my own country, Romania. People ask, why do Romanians and Roma leave? I've got nothing against Roma. They're a part of who we are. Politicians have to do something for us, and not just for themselves. We're headed for Calvini, 200 kilometers northeast of the capital. Around 5,000 people live in the village, nearly 40% of them Roma. Since the communist era state farms were closed, this region's rural economy has fallen into ruin, the community's representative tells us. Most of the villagers leave to seek a living abroad, like this young man who was expelled from France in August. I got back from France two days ago, but I'll be going back in one week, no more. There's nothing for me in Romania. I just hang around. There's no work, nothing. Look at the state I'm in. At least over there you can find clothes someone's thrown in the rubbish. Everyone wants to leave for France, everyone, because there's no work here. Vasile came back from France two years ago, counting on help from a French program to reintegrate repatriated Roma, microcredit of 3,600 euros, to set up a small business and not go back. He says the promised money was blocked in Bucharest. We hear this a lot in the village. His family, like others, survives by buying nuts in bulk and then selling them in the surrounding villages. We want to do something in our country to stop leaving Romania. We want to be productive, open a small factory, a sawmill, to earn money here too, to raise the children, not to have to leave, not to be constant fugitives. But if we don't get any money, We'll go back to France. Ludovic will not leave, even to earn more. Staying together with his family is more important for him. He says that France should punish delinquents instead of deporting all Roma, should help them work legally. And he says funds given to Romania should be better controlled. A lot of the people I worked with and who left came back empty-handed. Some employers cheated them, ignored European labor rules. They made them work for less pay, even for nothing. If you've got documents, you're lucky, you can work decently. But most are more or less slaves. Here is one family that succeeded in getting financial help to set up a small business after returning from France. But their plans were short-lived. We used the money to buy merchandise, like blankets, sheets, household towels, plastic. We went round selling that in villages, but now we're back to zero in Romania. It was much better there in France. I went begging with the little one here. They gave us free food. It was so much better than in Romania. My child was born there. Medical care was free. They fed us. We found clothes in the rubbish bins. We found aluminium, batteries, copper, which we can sell to earn money. We'd really like to be able to go back. Houses are being built in Calvini. A lot of their owners are abroad. Romania counts around 2 million Roma, and about 10,000 of them are in France. But not everyone here either wants to leave or can. We are guided to the poorest part of the village. Since their house burned down two years ago, this family of 16 people has been living 
in a shack. We stayed in Romania. We didn't go begging. People help us because they know our house burnt down. I do odd jobs for people, deliver sand and stone, but I never beg. My ID papers all went up with the house, so I get no social support. I've asked the town hall for flour and sugar, but we've received nothing. Back to Bucharest. We have a meeting at the National Agency for Roma. Around 115 million euros has been committed to various economic and social insertion projects from the European Social Fund. But the agency says there needs to be a better European integration strategy or nothing will stop people from migrating to escape poverty now that EU citizens are free to cross borders. I have already said I would like to thank the French authorities for the paid holiday they've given the people they expelled and who I'm sure will be leaving again for France. In any case, we can't prevent them. But it's time to face up to the many problems in rural Roma communities. It is high time that the money started getting through so we could see a clear change. According to the head of the Romanian NGO Romani Chris, what's missing is a genuine political will on the part of the state and, locally, a cooperation strategy among authorities, trainers, employers and social help networks. And mentalities must change, she says. Projects can help to get the qualifications for, for some people, but doesn't really help to get jobs because after you provide them with qualifications, then the, company, this, the companies decide if they want or not to, to employ Roma. If you live in a country where 70% of the people, according to, to the survey that the National Council for Combating Discrimination issued at the end of 2009, believe that Roma are criminals that, and it's hard for you to, to prove that you want to be integrated and to prove that you, you want to go to school, to prove that you would get a job if you'd have the chance to. Integration isn't happening in some parts of the capital. This family has sheltered in a shack for the past year, scavenging scrap metal and paper to sell to recyclers. They can't afford to head out for another country, nor do they want to. I'm staying in my country, the country where my parents died. Here I stay, where I was born, where my children were born, so help me God. The people who leave don't stop to think they're shaming the country. Look, they come from France to film our garbage. But they don't think about us not having anything to eat, anything to live on. Here's where we end our Romania trip. The next place our teams will take you is Spain for the second part of our special series dedicated to Roma across Europe. To be continued next weekend, reporter.